If Wait. I smell bad, I'm sorry. I drank a lot of alcohol last night, so I'm like, I can't smell great. Hey folks, another video from the Randolph Golf Complex in Tucson, Arizona. A man may not be on the top of his form, but he can still make himself useful. I started out this round playing solo. Yeah, You'll see that I joined uh, someone else later in the round. I'm thrilled with the result. I ended up having a little bit of an audience there too. It's going to be way off to the right. Hopefully my breakfast burrito, which you can see there. Hopefully my breakfast burrito doesn't... Actually a pretty good breakfast burrito out there, by the way. At any point. I didn't want to drop it off the right. cart. A couple fellas came in behind me. They were actually women. The people who were golfing behind us were women. Yeah. Sorry. You'll you'll find out that I don't like these folks very much, but sorry for misgendering you. Alright, so we have a nine iron in. Pace of play drop. You know how I do it. This is actually a pretty good shot. And I take a pace of play drop because as good on Sometimes I don't want to slow the group behind me down just because I can't find my ball. I don't have great uh, eyesight. I'm trying to be a good, uh, video. a good patron. So this one goes pretty right to left and downhill. I'm try to You'll see that I uh, am having some problems once again with the camera stopping recording. I think also Jess might have spelled realizing the the, uh, if I hit. the British spelling. Upset. So fuck you, Jess. You got a bunker on the left side of the green. It's a little more realistic obstacle. 205 is a long par out. 3 for me. That's like right. a about as good as I can hit a 4 there iron. Ooh. Toey. Little toey. It was exciting to watch me eat. So I end up a little bit short on the fringe here. I'm gonna putt from here. Well, these people behind me, they started like, um, there's, I think there's supposed to be like a- Good music choice, Jess. A 10 minute gap. And they started right after my tee shot. They actually hit into me. They didn't come close to hitting me, but all right. Give some feedback. I think a little right to left, but not very much. The music, if you would. Put it down in the comments. Oh, that's gonna play. That's gonna play. We have a very I like how Jess zooms this thing into the point where it looks like a fucking standard definition nice. tube TV from the 90s. Par it is, baby. Good news, that group behind me, it looks like they've uh, they've slowed down a little bit, so we're in good shape. They didn't slow down permanently. Not physically. We'll find out. We're on hole three, it's a par five, 526 yards. Looks like it's pretty straight. I say Arizona's got some kind of narrow fairways. I'm already a pretty big slicer, but these fairways are pretty narrow. There's a guy, I think that I'm was like safe to hit, but I'm one not frame of a close-up of my beard, pretty upsetting. I like a nice relaxing piece of play again. Just a flat one felt like I popped it up, lost it immediately. I think I might need to switch back to the multicolored balls. All right, so good news is I uh, diagnosed it correctly. I did pop it up. I hit it about, let's see, what did I get out of that thing? About 150 yards out of a driver. That's good. Um, now I'm kind of in this tree trouble. By the way, this did, the one good thing this represents is me not going way right. That's the only good thing. So I'm gonna hit this three iron. Which three iron was, I'll this was a, like the, what's in the first bag. time I'd hit it basically. This channel enough. And I have this three iron. I have a little bit of a story to it, but not today folks. You better get your friends to subscribe. I said I was gonna do a what's that. in the bag later on. It's still coming, we'll get there. You gotta tell some of your friends. So I think most of Arizona has these desert courses, but this one's like in a in the city. It's like right on the street. You can see just how close the street is, and uh, it was not a good shot. Once okay. again, we're in standard definition. It feels like the cool. '90s. We're gonna take a pace of play drop here. That's what I call it when uh, 
I don't want to search for an hour for a ball. Yeah, 56 yards to the center of the green. We got a uh, 56 degree in hand. I'm meant to grab the 60, but if I go back to the cart, I get rid of the pace of play benefit. Oh, chunked it. Nice. It's fucking strong. One more. Also, if you see me not picking it up, they don't even have this day, they didn't even go. have um, the like That's salmon and seed stuff. It's Apparently, they come through and fill in the behind me that are very annoying. Fill in the divots. I'm still annoyed that they hit in me on the first hole. The very first hole. What kind of assholes do that? Oh, for the par. For the par. Dude. I've only been hit into a couple times since starting playing golf again, and it's it's very annoying. It makes you very angry. And usually the marshal will tell you to like do that. something that he would never do. You see, by the yeah, way, I, I got like joined that, by a guy here, a very young golfer. Can't remember his name. Nah, no, it. But he's very good. Probably like scratchish or close to scratch, like a like a like a single digit handicap for sure. Oh yeah, come on. Give it a chance. Come on. I want to say his name's like Ryan. I always put it the pen in so I don't hear that noise like that very often. Oh, fuck me. At this point, this dude has got to be like, why am I playing with this guy? But he was having to wait on the group ahead of him. Another guy who I offered comedy club tickets, by the way, to Laughs Comedy Cafe in Tucson and who was not old enough, he he's 20 years old, not old enough to attend a show at the club. I got about six. So you see, car path we're on hole six today. and I'm playing pretty well to this point. I'm a bogey golfer on my best day and I was, doing, I was playing pretty well. Hit the, oh, that'll take the right kick. By the way, I don't think we've got, any, got it on video yet. Maybe we do, but I've, we I've switched putters yet again. Right. My short game is just deteriorating quickly. If I smell bad, I'm sorry. I drank a lot of alcohol last night, so I'm like, I can't smell great. Oh my That's God. That's all true. I did Who drink a lot of alcohol. Thank you. Oh, I, I was feeling myself a little bit, but it was only 250. I can drop a 300 with if everything comes together. Fuck you, Jess, with your editing. Man, I chunked the shit out of that. Could you decide to do a stand up? Well, I, uh, I wanted to yes, do this for a long when time. When I decided to start stand up. And then I started this podcast with a friend of mine who did stand up. And. I had wanted to do it for a really long time. Let's see. Let's see if I can put a bump and run this a little bit. Get up there. You pussy. But so I started about eight years ago. I meaningfully decided I wanted to do it about nine years ago. And then it took a year of convincing myself. Oh my God. You just absolute coward. Right. Also, stand-up's the only thing where you over. lie, or I do anyway, I lie and say that I've done it longer. I'm actually going to hit eight years in June. Oh, well, that's cutting, but I've had worse cuts. I think I, 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 I can't do anything but punch out here, I don't think. Maybe I could go through there and hope for some friendly bounces off the... There is a window. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. I'm gonna do it. No, I'm gonna end up in that stairwell. Yeah, I'm gonna end up in those. A mature golf decision. Over there. All right. For once. It's recording. Let's, yeah. All right. Let's see this embarrassing nonsense. <laughs> I've had to shoot it a lot, so.
I'm gonna keep heads up. I'm gonna I'm gonna be less aggressive. I was gonna go. If you can diagnose <laughs> why I'm bad with uh, <laughs> wedges around the green, by the way, I would love that. This isn't by the green, but there we go. That'll be fine. This actually turns out doing basically exactly what I needed. Oh, another still shot. Great, great, another still shot. Oh, great. This is my shot of the day, by the way. This ends up very close to the pin. All right. All right, I put it, it looks like it's about six feet away. Like my recollection bad. is that's a six iron, I believe. Where's my pitch mark? Do you want it out? That's how I ended up with my daughter. Maybe the second time on this program I've uh, made that joke. And long, too. My God. You fucking idiot. Like, never Ugh. online. That putt is never online. I put a beautiful shot on Brutal. to get on the green. Stupid game. And. So, yeah, yeah we go. Just absolutely. So we do the show and terrible these, goal. These guys are just like drunk and heckling the whole time. <laughs> And then they're like, come drink with us. And so we like, we did. We went I and mean, we're suckers and they were just buying us like. This is the kind of editor Jess is, by the way. It was like, great. Oh, yeah, it's, Telling this story. Could he have some B-roll where at least on well, camera, Jess? Fuck. The racism. I don't experience the racism because of uh, my whiteness. So, so it's a little less shitty for me in that one regard. But this guy got so drunk that like he caught himself and knocked over like four chairs and two tables, but he was like falling over. And if he had not caught those, he'd be like fully concussed, maybe dead. He was like 75 years old. Yeah, just blind drunk with your wife embarrassed. Yep, that guy's picking up my ball right there. That son of a bitch. I make it nine holes. That was my ball from the first hole where I did the, uh, the pace of play drop. Oh, clear it. That was Toey. Oh, no, you're going to be right of it anyway. Be on the green. So I actually put this on the All green. Right. We're putting for... And that story, by the way, you can hear the extended, more vulgar version of that country club story on the Nobody Likes Casey McLean podcast. Nice shot of my ass. Thanks, Jess. Get up there. Not a bad lag putt there. How did it not turn? So your hero ends Let's up playing go, uh, bogey golf on the front uh, nine, uh, and I, I didn't film <laughs> my shot, so we're we're I throw, I, uh, we're actually the, following the slice pattern of my okay. my drive. This is the like, this is the drone footage from my ball, almost the exact same right to left or left to right. This, this is the path the ball took. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and just so you know, we're gonna decide to call it a day after this because there were three groups waiting at the eleventh hole. Through. There was a group on the tee, a group on the, like waiting to do their approach shot, group on the green, and we would have been the third group waiting. So we decided to call it a day. But there is gonna be a pretty cool, uh, some footage of, not cool, but a, some footage of a fire, the results of a fire that happened at the Randolph uh, Golf Complex. Coming up right here. So check this out. As you come around the corner, these the golf carts got golf burned to a crisp. In Tucson, Arizona, you can see these melted. They had a fire here in the golf cart structure. You can see these melted uh, vinyl slats, and then these are all. So these are like somewhat damaged golf carts. And then we get into the just total destruction. All that stuff on the. Those ground are all frames. Is, uh, golf cart golf frames. Cart glass. You can see the bent. I mean, this is like bent rebar, basically. Not I made remote. this video to send to my dad Scaffolding? because he used to work in this kind of like insurance very, remodel the, stuff. This is and a significant boy. fire. The temperature required. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching.